Hello everyone, greetings of the day. Today we will see Accurex Semi-Auto Biochemistry Analyzer that is 8112 plus. So first we will see all the accessories that come with the analyzer. Here we have four different tubes. This one is the discharge tube, the drain tube, the aspiration tube and the peristaltic tube. This is the fuse, 2 ampere and 4 ampere. These are two printer paper rolls. In this packet, you will get a screwdriver, a power cord and a ground cord. The analyzer uh, cover and this is the waste bottle. So now we'll see some areas of uh, this analyzer. This is the LCD display. Here is the printer and here in this, inside of this, this is the measuring chamber. This is the aspiration tube and this is the aspiration switch. This is the back side of the analyzer. Here there is the power socket, the power switch this here is the peristaltic pump and this is the peristaltic tube and the drain tube. We will see how to connect this peristaltic tube to the peristaltic pump. First we will need to insert this side and then pull this one here and this is connected. And also now we will see connect the power cord. So this is the power cord, we will just insert it in this socket. Now we will see how to insert the printer paper roll. We will open this. We will pull this flip and we will insert the printer paper from here. We will roll this and the printer paper will come up like this. We will close the flip. Now we will switch on the analyzer and see all the features of this analyzer. So when we'll switch or switch on this analyzer, it will, the printer will check and it will be printed print OK. Here there are various options given over here. The first one is the measure from where you can test all the programs. Second one is setup. Third is print report. Fourth is quality control, program and work list. So we'll see first measure. Here there are all the programs given. Second is setup. Here you can set up the date and time, the volume calibration, the uh, printer paper, data send, light source. If the, the analyzer is not in use, you can just turn off the light source. And when you need it, you can turn on again. Here there is option for rinse, result review, zero drift, filter check and printer. Third is the print report from where you will get the print. If you want to run any controls, there are the option QC1 and QC2. If you want to edit or uh, any create any new test you can edit from here the last one is the work list many of the programs are already fed in the analyzer but if you want to create any new program you can click on this and new tests here you can see all the tests we'll click on page down and we'll see for the empty slot. Now we will enter the test name that you want to put. Oh, 
yes so you have uh, added the test now you need to edit it so we'll click on edit we'll go to the name that you have created that is glucose and we'll edit according to the pack insert for the method we'll select endpoint as glucose is endpoint wavelength will be we have to select from all of this filter select 510 temperature will be 37 degree reagent blank yes delay time will keep one measuring time will keep one Now, aspiration volume will be four fifty. For standard number, we'll keep one as this is one standard. This will be hundred. Measure range high will be five hundred. The normal range will be one one zero. The normal range low will be sixty. All of this will be according to the pack inserts. We we'll press insert exit. Now to measure the test, you need to click on measure and from this page down, you have to select your test that is glucose and this will uh, now set the temperature to 37 degree. So we have created a new test, now we will go for the calibration part. So here you can see the first one which is zero, second is reagent blank, third is standard fourth is control and last one is sample so if you want, want to run control you can click over here otherwise you need to click on sample so first we'll do the zero that that is we'll give the distal water we'll insert the aspiration switch in the distal water and we'll click the aspiration switch it will show the absorbance zero now we'll give the reagent blank. Now we'll give standard. Here you can see the factor. And now we'll give the sample. So 
so this is the results that result that you will get and on the printer paper you can see the result as well this is the graph that is shown over here it will also be printed over here 